My dear friends, uh, there is a, a modern version of that story. Uh, do you know the story of the, the eagle? Diba? The eagle who didn't know that he was an eagle. No? Lagi namin kinikwento yun sa mga atinista kasi, di ba? Agila raw sila. Anyway, uh, just to, I'm sure you're familiar with that anecdote, modern day anecdote. Uh, uh, there was an egg uh, that was found, an, uh, an eagle's egg that was found by a farmer and he brought it home and he put it with, uh, you know, among the eggs of the, uh, the chicken you know, in his house. And so, nung napisa, ano, yung eagle uh, namuhay ng katulad nung mga manok. And he grew up, he grew up thinking that he was a chicken. No? And so, and yet every now and then, when he sees eagles soaring high ano, uh, in the sky, parang may, may bumubulong, parang may kumakalabit sa kanya. Parang kaya ko yun. It's like I'm called to soar also to be the, the king of the sky. And yet, my dear friends, just to make the long story short, ano, uh, he doubted that he was capable of flying, soaring like an eagle. And so all his life, he stayed uh, with the chicken. Uh, ko sana, he quacked like a chicken. Ano? <laughs> anyway, um, my dear friends, that's a modern-day anecdote of the parable of the talents that Christ tells us. Because uh, in reality, my dear friends, Genesis tells us we have, made, we have been made by God in the image and likeness of God. He has given us power. And yet, my dear friends, do we see that power being harnessed in this world? No? Sabi ng mga psychologists, ang pinaka-problema daw ng mundo. People going around, you know, walking around with low self-esteem. No? And yet, my dear friends, we are Christians. We are Christians and Genesis tells us you have been made in the image and likeness of God. Meron kang kapangyarihan. No? Yung DNA mo galing sa Diyos. So you can do things. And yet, many times, we don't think like an eagle. We think like a chicken. No? We hide our talents. My dear friends, I was in Cambodia uh, last August. Merong conference, so I was in Cambodia. And uh, we visited uh, this school you know, in Cambodia, school for uh, mga scavenger children. Uh, Smile for a Child, that's the name of the school. Alam niyo po, nakakatuwa yung kwento nitong uh, school na to. Because when we went there, we were, my God, we were confronted with something like 7,000 children. No? And the school has been, has been in existence for the last 10 years. And sino po ang nagpapatakbo ng school? No, not the government of Cambodia. No? But a French couple. A French couple. Here's the story behind the school. No? Uh, there's this executive of an IBM who retired in 1998. And uh, he was the French guy. Uh, his name is Christian. No, nag-retire siya, no? 60 years old. So, marami siyang pera, retirement, di ba? So, you, with, with his wife, nag sila, nag sila. In other words, they toured around the world and they ended up in, in Cambodia. And one time while they were touring Cambodia, kung meron tayo ditong Smoky Mountain, meron din sa kanila doon mga malalaking basurahan and the couple was moved by the sight of children you know living off the garbage in Cambodia so many children so and yet they went back home in France and yet every time every time they would eat every time it's time for dinner lunch or breakfast hindi nila masubo yung kakainin nila you know why naaalala nila yung mga bata sa Cambodia na walang makain ng matino, ang kinakain, yung basura. They would scavenge just to be able to eat. And so, hindi nila masubo. And so, they were so moved that they dared. They talked to their uh, friends and relatives, uh, asked, solicited for money. 
and they went back to Cambodia and put up this school. No una sabi nila, my God, we're already old. Diba? Retired na eh. So, ibig sabihin, something like 60, 65. No? Yung lalaki, yung babae, ganun din. And yet, sabi nila, we are Christians. We are Christians. We have to dare to dream big. We are capable of changing the world. We can do things. We can change our world. My dear friends, that is the invitation of the gospel reading for today. And yet many of us Christians settle for our comfort zones, our little world. Dito na lang, safe. No? Safe. But can you dream big? Our faith tells us that yes, we can risk. We can risk in the name of our faith. My dear friends, yung mga ano po natin, mga ninuno natin, Abraham, David, no? you can go down, ano, history, these big names, they risked in the name of their faith. They risked, they were able to risk their lives to go out of their comfort zones because they believed in God. So my dear friends, just to sum up, ano, two things. Two things that would enable us in the name of our faith to risk. Number one, our faith tells us, oh, I already mentioned this, that we have been made in the image and likeness of God. Have faith in yourself, therefore. Have confidence in yourself. We can change the world. We have the power to change the world. God has empowered us. And second, my dear friends, sometimes, you know, we, we don't risk at all in our lives. We don't dream big because we are overwhelmed by fear. But our faith tells us that don't worry. Don't worry, I have conquered all the fears that you can encounter in your life. Christ tells us through Romans, Romans 8, which is my favorite passage, Nothing can separate us from the love of God in Christ. Nothing at all. So there is nothing to fear. Not death. Christ has already, has already defeated death. There is nothing that we should fear. Christ is with us. And so, my dear friends, I hope that the reading for today has challenged you. And I hope that we can respond well. We can dream big. Let's dream big and let's change the world. Amen.